this is going to be uh, the fishbone fold designed by Heidi Kayo. She uses 21 inch by 13 inch paper. Uh, starting off with folding over one inch from the left hand side and then folding over two inches from the right hand side. Uh, I generally don't mark this. Folding on a mat is good. If you line it up just right at the bottom and slide up, it should work out just fine. Next step is to fold it in half and then open it and fold each side to the center. Noticing that that same fold is uh, stays fold, the edge folds stay folded. Okay, next up we'll be getting a little template, a, a half inch template, and marking just a half inch away from the fold, starting starting with the fold closest to the two inch fold. Um, I do it from the back. Heidi does it from the front and she scores it. But I find that if I just mark it uh, and then flip it over, that marks on the back, I line it up just, line everything up nicely at the edge, the edges, you see it's perfectly lined up and now if I make the fold, it'll turn out to be a nice straight fold. You see how that makes that nice sort of spine look. The real reason I'm making this video is because uh, I want to show a way to make pockets with this. I can't fit the paper on on the under the video t to show that, so I'm going to be skipping to something that's more um, finished towards the end. But you'll see. It's a nice way of putting pockets in this. That just a variation on Hedy Hedy's design. Okay, so all those half inch folds are made. And I'm checking the book to make sure of something because I want to make sure I'm showing you everything right. Uh, what I'm doing now is starting with the two inch fold, bringing that over to one of those um, one of those little folds. When you see you skip that half inch and you those mountain folds you bring up. I'm hoping you just see that from it. And do it on. Now I'm not pressing very hard. The reason I'm not pressing very hard is because I don't want the crease to show through the other side. So now I've turned it over, and this is where I'm, this is where I'm um, sharpening the crease. Now those um, those large folds are valley folds, which is what I want. Putting X's on those little sort of spine pieces, and also that two inch fold at the end. And that comes in handy later on. Fold it in half. I fold it from a little bit from one side, a little bit from the other side when it's long like this, and then do the middle. Okay, so there you're going to cut here in the places where it doesn't have the X. Now, if you don't have access to a razor blade or you're not working with razor blades, just fold fold those mountains in half and cut just to the that those pieces that look like spines and that little bit at the end too. Okay, now you, um, oh yeah, there's that half inch double-sided paste just on one edge. And notice when um, I fold it over, I'm not going to just fold the whole thing over. I'll be uh, starting at the, at, the, at the top and pressing down from there. And that gets everything lined up nicely. Okay, it's, it's done. Now we're just pushing the pieces in. They sort of go in nicely. Okay, now here's where I'm going to switch over to uh, showing you how to do it with a pocket. So basically I've done all this, but I've done it all on a much larger piece of paper. I've done it on a piece of paper that's 20, 21 by 20 inches instead of, um, instead of 21 by 13. So it's about a 20 inch height. And so my pockets are going to be three and a half inches. So I've done a fold from three and a half inches from the bottom and the top. And I've already done the fold on the top and now I'm doing it on the other side. And so it's the same structure, but now it just has a pocket. Um, what you're gonna have to do here, oh, there's that half inch piece to hold it in place. Uh, what you're gonna have to do here is you're gonna have to re, 
uh, reverse some of the folds because on the pockets because otherwise it won't work nicely. Uh, so I'm just basically going over the mountain folds, recreasing them so they're nice. And then uh, the, the those fine ones don't really seem to need it. They're at the very end. It seemed to need a little bit of extra uh, help, but there we go. And now you've got the same uh, fishbone thing, and it's got pockets in it, and that's kind of cool because you can put stuff in it, and they can sort of um, uh, don't put pencils in it. That's not very interesting, but put something in it, and then when you open it up and close it, it there'll be a, a nice uh, a nice thing going on. That's it. Which is fun.